Uh, you know, uh, it, it's been it, it's been great. Um, you know, obviously we've had a great rivalry um, when I was there before, um, but you know, to actually get to play with them, uh, it, it's been great. I mm -hmm. mean, Catchings, Kara, and and Candace are just class acts, amazing players. Which you know, I'd rather be on the same team with them. Put it that way. <laughs> Uh, 2004, we had a very good team, um, and, and this team's a little bit different. But at the same time, we kind of have the same blueprint where we have, you know, the veterans uh, with tons of experience with Lisa, Katie, and, and Tina, and kind of the middlemen, which, you know, Sue, Catch, and myself, where we've been to the Olympics in 2004. And then you have the young guns, you know, Sylvia, Candice, um, Cappy, and Simone. So I think it's a great mix of players, and, uh, you know, if we put it together, uh, hopefully good things will happen. Yeah, it looks like It really is um, really unique to have three, you know, three players from one school on the team. And um, I'll tell you, one of the first people I called when I found out that I made the team was Tamika Catchings. Mm -hmm. um, pl having played with her for two years um, at UT, uh, I was so excited. And she starts screaming into the phone. And um, then, of course, now to have Candice, um, kind of the next, you know, great to, to come out of, of the Tennessee program. Um, you know, we, we feel really pr proud, you know, just a lot of pride to know, um, you know, that uh, what Coach Summit and that program has done for our basketball careers and enabling us to, to compete and improve and, and make it to our ultimate goal, which is an Olympic team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know the best the best way I think to learn is to is to lean on your veterans, and that's something I'll do is I'll ask questions. And so she's been great for me just as a friend. And uh, you know I'll say, well, what do we need to bring? Do we need to bring tennis shoes? Do we need to bring this? What are we gonna wear? Is it gonna be hot? Or what is this like? How long do we stand in opening ceremonies? Um, just trying to ask her everything um, I can just to uh, to know what what to expect. Um, and. I remember watching the 100 meter final. Um, Evelyn Ashford won the gold in 84, and I saw that, and I wanted to do that. That was what I wanted to do was was run the 100 meter dash in the Olympics. So I used to go outside after I watched it. I was three. I used to go outside, and um, I lived on a corner lot, and I had so I had a, a street sign uh, on the uh, corner part of our yard, and I would wait for a car to come, um, and I would race it to the driveway. <laughs> And then I would jog back and wait for another car to come, and I'd race it. So this is total three-year-old logic. Yeah. But if I can beat a car, I can totally beat any other human in the world, right? <laughs> yeah. so you know, it's, it's been fun. You know, obviously having Candace and Kayla all here. Uh, Kara is more of the one that's kind of like, okay, what do we do here? What do we do there? You know, she's the kind, of, kind of the person that wants to know everything before it actually happens. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, but it's really it's fun to be able to share this experience with them. <laughs> and uh, you know, I played with Kara for two years in college. I never got the opportunity to play with Candice. So to be able to be here and um, you know have both of them alongside of me, and it's been fun. You know, when I first got to have the surgery, they were like, it's six to nine months. And my response to that was six to nine months for a regular person <laughs> or six to nine months for an athlete. Right. You know, so in my mind, I'm like, okay, six to nine months, I could do it in five. I can do it in six, you know. And so, like, once I got to about five, six months, you know, I still wasn't on the court. I still wasn't doing the things that I thought I'd be able to do. And, you know, to me, that was very discouraging just because it's like, okay, I'm counting down the month to the WNBA season. I'm counting down the month to the Olympics. Right. And I'd say probably like January, February was my hardest time. It's been great playing with other Lady Balls. You know, mm -hmm. to be here and to have so many familiar faces around you and, um, we all kind of stick together and hang out, and um, it's great to represent your country alongside, you know, familiar people. I think what's so cool about them is they, um, they're, we're just real cool and chill and relaxed. You know, Tamika is going to give me advice when I ask for it, and she, um, she's just all about making me feel comfortable. You know, Kara, with this being her first Olympics as well, we kind of just, you know, are just kind of going with the flow and just kind of, um, you know, working hard and practicing, motivating each other, and go from there. Okay. Thank you. It is. You know, it's something that I've looked forward to forever. And um, 
to be sitting here and to be representing my country is great. I'm trying to take in everything I can, my first Olympics, and I hope to come back like numerous times.